Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oroma Usawe. I'm a YouTuber based in the United Kingdom. I hope you are fine. I hope everyone is keeping well. So summer is upon us now and um, it is quite hot guys the weather is the weather is quite hot but um, still that won't stop me from doing what I want to do so um, today I have decided to bring on um, a simple um, summer look it's not going to take time it's not going to be much I'll just use two colors on my eyes and then we finish up with the rest of the face so the I've gone I've gone behind camera and I've done my eyebrows because my eyebrows will make this video a little longer I've done that already and now I want to start to uh, prep my eyelids for foundation for the eyeshadow and I'm going to be using my uh, L'Oreal infallible concealers and I, I'm using the two of them which is um, 015 just 01.5 light medium and 03 dark I will be mixing these shades together because one is quite light and the other one is quite dark so I will be mixing these shades together and I will use that all over my eyelids like so so to set my eyelids I'm going to use my Zico this is my Zico powder palette this is the um, holy grail palette I use this palette um, um, I used it recently in one of my videos I got this palette from Nigeria and I'm going to be taking that first color there that's the white one it's called translucent so I'm going to use that to set my eyelids for my foundation guys I don't know how this particular powder would work this white one so I'm using it for the first time so your guess is as good as mine but hopefully it work it works well because when I used the other pal um, when I use the other powders for my for my um, for my makeup, the makeup where I had had the red hair, was it the red hair? No, it wasn't the red hair. Um, I will put a link to that video. Hopefully, if I can, yes, I will put a link to that video. But then, when I used the powder all over my face and to set my under eyes, I liked the way that came out. So I have decided to play with the translucent powder. I will be using this powder again today because I, I like these powders. So I will be using them again today. But then I've never used the translucent powder. So that's what I have used to set my eyelids. And I pray it actually uh, works. So for the eyeshadow today, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palettes. Um, you, if, you, if you've been watching my video since I started, you will know I have a special place in my heart for Juvia's Place and um i'm going to be using I, I only want to use two colors from here and the color i'm going to start with is the orange there it, it's more like a burnt burnt orange color and it's called it's called a morocco i'm going to be using my morphe m504 brush and i'm taking just a bit of that color there and i want to use this as my transition color As usual, as usual, Muffy, um, Juvia's place will not fail me, guys. I don't, I don't know if you can see how easily this is blending. It's just gone right. It's just blended with my skin, which I really, really like. And for the second and final color, I want to go in with the green there. You can see this green is called Egypt, and I'm going to place that all over my lid, and I think I will be done with the eyes. So it's just a simple eye look. Be a color between the green and the orange um, actually yes there should be a color between the green and the orange so I want to go in with this color you see here it's a berry color and it's called Jezebel uh, or should I use Kenya Kenya is a chocolate brown Okay, let me go between Kenya and and Jezebel and I want to place that in between the green and the orange right there So 
so guys I'm back and I have done my eyelashes so the next thing I want to do is to uh, blend underneath my brows and to do that I want to take one of the powders from this palette again so I'm thinking of going in with uh, this powder here is called golden bronze that's this one here and I'm going in with my elf blending brush so I want to take a bit of that powder and put that right underneath my brow bone just so it blends the part where the orange meets my brow bone so to prime my face I'm going in with my Maybelline baby skin instant pore erase and I want to use this to minimize the pore on my face and for the added glow in my face I'm going to be using my um, elf retro paradise primer glue oil To conceal the dark spots on my face, you guessed right, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Modern Concealer and this is in 343 Truffle. I kind of find this a little too dark for me, so I'm going to order something a bit lighter. Still darker than my skin tone, but lighter than this one. And for foundation, I got a new product from Morphe. This is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation and I got it in the shade F480. I hope this is my actual shade anyway because you know the thing with drugstore products, um, you can't really try them. So I hope this is my actual shade. Uh, okay, this is, this is a little dark. This is darker than my complexion. Well, I think I can make it work. You can see this is quite red on my skin tone if you look at my chest I have more yellow in my skin tone than I have red so this is looking a little darker looking a little too dark for me but it's okay we're going to make it work with concealers and powders hopefully not my shade I have to go oh <laughs> this is dark this is dark actually so not my shade I have to go back to get my exact shade but then yes I do like this foundation I really really do so let me bring it down to my neck a little bit at least going in with the uh, revolution conceal and define and this is in the shade C 12.2 and I'm going to put that just underneath my eye like so going in with my damp beauty sponge the face is still quite dark as you can see so I will go into brighten my under eye and then that will brighten my face some more so I'm using the L'Oreal infallible concealer and this is in 330 pecan and I'll put that there underneath my eye because I want that extra brightness tip of my nose and right there so to cream contour I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick and this is in the shade in the shade 8 walnut I'm going to put that there holy grail palette and i'm going in with that shade i'm going with that shade you see there oh i want to start with this shade you see here it's called um let me see no i want to start with soft honey then i go in with um with ivory so soft honey is this one you see here and ivory is the second one you see there so i want to take that with my damp beauty sponge
and now I want to go in with um, ivory which is the second shade it's quite it's kind of it's a little lighter than beige and then I'm going back in just and I'm applying it in the same place And I'm going in with beige, take a bit of that and then set that concealer there because I want that contour to show as you can see, you can see the line of the contour now. The rest of my face I will be going in with almond, that's that one you see there and I'm using the bottom of my beauty sponge and I'm setting all the parts where I did not uh, put the uh, the light setting powders my contour I'm going in with that powder they call cappuccino or my bronzer actually I'm going in with that powder they call cappuccino and I will use that to yeah and I'll use that to bronze my face going in with the Juvia's Place Sahara Blush Volume 1 and I will be taking that shade you see there, the top middle shade is called Neo and I'm going in with my Real Techniques Blush Brush Juvia's Place Sahara Blush Volume 1 and I'm going in with the first highlighter called Zara So for my lips, I'm starting with this lip pencil I got it um, recently. It came in the post yesterday, and it's the it's the lip liner by Morphe, and it's called Trendsetter. It's a chocolate brown lip liner, which is going to be perfect for nude lips because I just want to do a nude lips as usual today anyway. So it's a dark dark chocolate brown. I don't know if you can see it there. That's what it looks like. So that's what I'm going to use to line my lips today. really soft I like this it glides easily my lip gloss I'm going in with um, Tara this is Tara by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to put that right on top of the um, lip liner For the center of my lips, I'm going in with um, another Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss and this is in the shade Butterscotch and I'll, I'll put that right in the center of my lips like so. extra shine to my lips I'm going in with the clear lip gloss from elf and this is the lip lacquer and this is the shade um, clear transparent I'm going in with my L'Oreal telescopic mascara So guys, this is the finished look so far. I went behind camera and I applied my um, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, you know, to my bottom lashes. I didn't like my bottom lashes, so I went straight with the mascara. And then I set my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is what it looks like. So I hope you like this look, guys. I like this look because I like this look because it's kind of giving me 
holiday vibes because summer's around the corner for those of you who will be traveling visiting cities or visiting you know the island so this is giving me some kind of island vibe including the hair and what i've done is uh, this is one of my wigs i customized this week um late last early, i can't remember I think, I think i think late last year i customized no 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 it was this anyway this is one of my wigs from my collection so i washed her and, and moisturized her i haven't done anything to her i didn't even lay the front with my hot comb i left her this way because i just wanted that nice natural island vibe where you know your hair is just washed and and moisturized and then you have it you know in the sun you have it in the wind there's nothing much going on with your hair and then it all puts it all brings the look together i like the green i like the um transition colors i use that's the orange and then the uh, berry color mixed with the brown and then the green and then also i like how quiet my lips are also as for the blush i like the way the blush is too so i'm sure if the sun was out because um oh if i'm going out in the sun i will look radiant in the sun but then i i'm not going out in the sun because guys if for those of you who know if i go out in the sun in the summer actually i suffer my skin suffers for it so in the summer i like to be indoors with the fan on you know and keep as cool as i possibly can so i hope you like this look i hope you like how it has turned out i really 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 love this look and if you like this look please comment um and share my videos with your friends and family and also give a thumbs up if you like this look and if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd like you to please do so as i'm still trying to move my channel forward once again i will see you all in my next once again i thank you for returning and sticking with your girl and i will see you all in my next one Mwah. bye guys